Hey guys, happy Saturday. In today's vlog, I'm gonna chat with you guys first about Paula's Choice new AHA BHA peel product. I've been trying it out. I'm also going to, oh, I got some outfits from Amazon. So I'm gonna try those on for you guys and show you those. And I'm gonna set up, when I purchased my incredible edibles, large arrow garden, it came with a free mini one. So I'm gonna set that up today probably put some herbs in it. And then tonight I'm gonna do, I'm gonna chat with you guys about uh, Neutrogena's Hyaluronic Acid Serum, because I don't think I've ever updated you guys on that. Anyways, before I get into talking about the peel, look what I did this morning. I painted my nails with, the other day at Kroger, I impulse purchased, I have a problem with nail polish. I always impulse purchase it and then I never end up using it. But I wanted to try this Miracle now, Miracle nail, Miracle gel. I think you guys recommended this to me actually. And basically you put this top coat on after painting your nails and allowing the polish to dry. You put this top coat on and supposedly it just cures with light. So it creates like a gel type effect, but you don't have to put your hands under those UV bulbs or whatever. And I'm pretty happy with this actually. It looks pretty good. We'll see how it holds up. Yeah, I don't know why I'm surprised because Sally Hansen nail polish has always been a go-to for me. Like I used to paint my nails actually 10 or 15 years ago, a fair amount. I was really into it. And you know, the more you do it, you get kind of in the habit of it. You get a better sense of your nail shape and you start getting better at it with less little blips and whatnot. And Sally Hansen always stayed on really, you know, for a good long while and looked nice. So I don't know why I'm surprised that this is so far so good. All right, but let's talk about the new Paula's Choice 25% AHA BHA exfoliating peel. Is that what it's called? Exfoliant peel. They sent this to me. I did not buy it, but I've been trying it out uh, and I actually really like it. I've used it a total of three times now, I wanna say, because you use it once a week. It is a uh, exfoliant that is intended to improve some of the visible signs of photoaging, like sunspots, hyperpigmentation, uneven skin tone, and texture, because it has a blend of alpha hydroxy acids. It has glycolic, lactic, and mandelic acid. Those, remember, they kind of smooth out the surface of the skin and they can actually help long-term with skin hydration. This product, though, is also ideal for people who have prominent pores and really oily skin because it's got 2% salicylic acid, aka BHA, which concentrates in the oily surfaces, including within the pore, kind of exfoliates the pore and helps with oil oiliness and is anti-inflammatory but it also has butterfly pea flower. And if you've been watching my videos for any number of years, you may have recalled, I was going through a phase a while ago where I was putting butterfly pea flower powder in my smoothies. It creates this really vibrant purple color to things. And you can see that in the product here. I'll just put a little on my hand. See how pretty it is? Now this, Butterfly powder, butterfly powder, butterfly pea flower. It's rich in polyphenols, antioxidants, flavonoids, and proanthocyanidins. Kind of what gives the purplish color. So in theory, it can help reduce the burden of free radical damage from environmental stressors. Yes. Whether or not it actually does it in this product, I don't know. Let's be honest, I think they made it purple and put that in because of the explosion this past year all over TikTok of a similar product, the Ordinary's AHA BHA peel. These products are actually kind of similar as far as what they're intended for and kind of the ingredient profile. Uh, in, in a sense. This has some kind of Tasmanian, I call it Tasmanian devil, Tasmania lanceolata fruit leaf extract, which I assume is probably full of antioxidants. So we got red and purple. Anyways, I'll talk about how these compare, but in summary, I actually, summary? In summary, I actually have really enjoyed this. And it, when you put it on, you wanna put it on to clean, dry skin. You could do it in the morning, first thing in the morning, or you could do it at nighttime. I have been doing it in the morning because you guys know I use 
Retin-A at night. And you wouldn't want to put Retin-A on immediately after doing something like this because it can really just increase the likelihood of irritation. So I have done it in the morning and you put it onto a clean, dry skin in a thin, even layer. You don't need a whole lot. That's one thing I like about this product. It's easy to spread out in a thin, even layer. So the consistency is really good. That's actually very important when it comes to products that aim to exfoliate. You don't wanna put this around your eyes or to sensitive areas, like around the mouth. It can be too irritating there. It says you can use it on the neck, but proceed with caution. You guys know the neck skin is much thinner and has fewer oil glands, so. It's more prone to irritation. Anyways, this definitely does tingle, which is to be expected from glycolic acid-based products. You leave it on for 10 minutes. Now, if you find the tingling to be too unbearable, then you can definitely rinse it off beforehand. After you rinse it off, you just apply a moisturizer. And I have definitely appreciated that when I use this, as to be expected, just I, I have like a sense that my skin is smoother overall. I've appreciated that with obviously this product and the Derma E AHA Overnight Peel, which does not have BHA in it. That's another good product that you could consider using. So in summary, I actually really like this product a lot. I think it's a good option. People who should not use this are people who have rosacea, really sensitive skin, or if you're going through any kind of irritation from products, Maybe your skin is dry and irritated from the weather, or if you're dealing with maskne, I would not advise using this because it can be irritating. If your skin is already irritated, this is not something that you want to, to use. Um, but if you have very oily skin, if you've got some of the visible signs of photo damage like prominent pores, hyperpigmentation, definitely try this, it's quite good. How does it compare to the ordinary 30% AHA, 2% BHA? Um, honestly, they're actually quite similar at the end of the day in terms of what they're going to help. Hyperpigmentation, visible signs of photo aging. Uh, if you have uh, a lot of skin textural things that you're trying to improve, these products are geared towards that. Now, the Ordinary product has, uh, you know, it's got tartaric acid in it, another alpha hydroxy acid, whereas this has mandelic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, what ifs? Not a big difference there. You may zone in on the fact that the Ordinary product says 30% AHA, whereas the Paula's Choice is 25%. You might think that that really matters, but truthfully, it doesn't. When it comes to the efficacy of alpha hydroxy acids, just looking at the percentage of alpha hydroxy acids in a product, it really doesn't tell you much because Efficacy of alpha hydroxy acids in terms of whether or not they're gonna exfoliate or mostly just act as humectants or kind of do somewhere in between, it really kind of boils down to the product formulation overall. I have to say, this is substantially more expensive than this. I bought this, I did not buy this. Uh, that being said, I actually prefer this because it is easier to apply than the Ordinary product in a more consistent fashion. Personally, I wish the Ordinary had not made this product in a dropper bottle like this. I wish that they had put some thickeners in it and, and formulated it so that it could be something that was you could you know, put on your finger and spread on in a more even layer, as opposed to, this is more of a viscous liquid. As long as you know that going in, honestly, they're very, very similar. So if you're looking for a once a week exfoliant that will maybe help in terms of improving texture and some of the visible signs of photo aging, give these a try. An alternative, especially if you find these too irritating, is um, the uh, Derma E um, overnight peel with glycolic acid. The Derma E product is very good. So I would also recommend that as an alternative. It doesn't have salicylic acid, however. So if you're somebody who has more oily skin and you're looking for that salicylic acid component, you would probably instead wanna consider, if you just want the salicylic acid, consider the Polish Choice BHA liquid exfoliant or salicylic acid face wash or um, The Ordinary has a leave-on salicylic acid. There are many um, good ones on the market. But if you kind of want both and a once a week product that's gonna help multiple signs of photo aging, either of these is quite good. Um, Polish Choice, The Ordinary, and Derma E are all three cruelty-free. The Derma E product is vegan. I don't know if this is vegan. And I don't know if this is vegan. I wanna say it probably is. Definitely check out my video on how to exfoliate 
To emphasize, however, do not just assume that you need to exfoliate. Marketing makes it seem as though everybody needs to be exfoliating. There's a good chance that you don't need to. Uh, simply washing your face once a day is exfoliating. And there's All right, y'all, I'm gonna set up my baby arrow garden. I think I'm just gonna put it here next to, uh, next to the incredible edibles. They're doing, they're doing well, popping up there. Got Snapdragon, Calendula, Marigold. This is just a three potter, but I think I'm gonna do, I have these gourmet herbs. Let me see how it's backlit. You're not gonna be able to see because it's backlit. Anyways, I have these gourmet herbs and I'm, they're, some of them are different than the ones that are in my main arrow garden, my main herb arrow garden. Yes, this will be my third arrow garden here, but this one that I'm setting up now, it came free with, with the biggie one. Just Growing that herb. <laughs> Not that kind of herb, y'all. Not that kind of herb. We'll leave that up to the DRE, not the DRAY. Speaking of DRE, I heard he uh, had a bit of a health crisis. I hope he's all right. Had a uh, aneurysm, that's scary. Yaddy, yaddy, I'm thinking this one would be really good if you had for a college student, this little mini one that I'm setting up here because look how tiny it is. Yeah, this one would be good in like a dorm. Oops. So far, y'all, the manicure is holding up. Oh wait, that wasn't even in the frame, was it? There we go. full of liquid plant food. The secret sauce. <laughs> I purchased this desk a few weeks ago and set it up for the purpose of, of the arrow gardens and now I have an extra junk drawer. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, now I'm gonna put the pods in. I have quite a few to choose from here, but since I, my other herb garden, I don't have Genoa basil. I'm gonna go with that. I hope I'm saying that right. Is it Genoa? Genevieve? Genoa. Um, and I don't have chives either, so I'm gonna do chives. And I don't have, I have mint already. Curly parsley. I love basil so much. I might do another short. Not time. I've got time over there and I don't really eat time that much. Ooh, Italian parsley. Yes. Alright. So we got those. We need a little bit more water. It's as simple as that. Let me pick up my mess. This is going in the bathroom. Alright, I got this cute little jumpsuit on Amazon. It's a pantsuit. I just put it with some tan nude pumps but funny thing about this 
it's got a little pearl button and it's supposed to button in the front, but it's too big. However, if I button it in the back, it pulls it up, makes it fit, and in the back, it's doing this little kind of, I don't know if you can see, sort of drapey thing, like an open back. I'm not wearing the right bra for it, but you get the picture. So I don't know, I think I'm gonna keep this actually. It's cute, it's really comfortable. And I can't remember what size I got. I think I got the smallest, I'm sure I got the smallest size available. What do you guys think? <laughs> it's comfortable. I'm going all out with the red. I just paired it with this blue headband from Lily Silk. And I've got pearl earrings on too. Yeah, I just thought it was cute. I also got this little pink wrap dress from Amazon. It's cute. I think I'm gonna keep this one. I don't know about the jumpsuit, but this I think I might, I'm probably gonna keep. And uh, the only thing is the sleeves are a little, I don't know, boxy. I, I actually think it's kind of cute. It gives it some dimension. And the belt, this is a size extra small, but the belt actually pulls everything together. I hate it when you have these cute wrap dresses. They look so cute on the model and then you get them, you tie them as they're supposed to be tied, as tight as they can go and they like gape open. This is not like that at all. You don't need any kind of bizarre adhesive hot glue gun to keep it together. Yeah, I really like this actually. It's cute. See, I'm really trying you guys with, with the colors. Fun story, yours truly just cracked into a brand new jar of those delicious Vlasic pickles. Watch out, that means I'm probably gonna overdo it on salt tonight. Anyways, yeah, I love those. But, you know when you're opening a new jar and you're trying to break the seal, you kinda have to put a little elbow grease into it, obviously, and for me, I find, especially with this pickle jar, uh, that it's easier if I kinda put the jar at the bottom of the jar between my inner thighs just to kind of stabilize it a little bit. Idiot. They pack these pickle jars full, obviously, of pickling juice. And as I crack the seal, a ton of pickle juice goes all over my crotch. Looks like I peed my pants. Yeah, that was glamorous. So I just ended up washing, like cleaning up my floor. I decided to, <clears throat> I decided to go ahead and wash my clothes because not only were they soaked in pickle juice, but I just went for a run, so they're all sweaty. The last thing I wanted was sweaty, pickled workout bike shorts hanging out for a few days in my hamper. I figured I'd best get that in the wash. So I just finished up, actually, um, I need to put it in the dryer. I've used this product off and on now for a while and it's actually very good, no surprise. It's Neutrogena's Hydration Complex. It's a hyaluronic acid serum. I shared this with you guys a long, long time ago and I don't think I ever really updated you on it, but if you're in the market for a hyaluronic acid serum, this one's quite good. The little spheres that you see are like this hydration complex that kind of slowly releases the their hyaluronic acid into the skin which I think is exactly what is in the Hydro Boost Body Lotion, the um, overnight hydration cream one, that's really good. And what that ends up doing is like that slow release of hyaluronic acid, it really gives you a nice sustained hydration in the skin. I haven't been using this too often because I have quite a few other skincare products that you know I've been using up and trying out here and there, but I really like it, it's quite good. You know, a question I get a fair amount is like, is it possible to be allergic to hyaluronic acid? It's very, 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 very unlikely because hyaluronic acid is incredibly abundant in the human body. Now, allergy to hyaluronic acid is like, yeah, I mean, highly unlikely. However, one of the, the benefit of hyaluronic acid, whether it be in moisturizers or serum, is that not only does it improve hydration, it minimizes irritation from topical ingredients like retinol, and it also increases penetration of active ingredients. Because of this, it is possible that if you are using a hyaluronic acid-based product, because it allows for better penetration of ingredients, if you're using it, uh, if you're using a product with hyaluronic acid that has some ingredients that are too irritating for you and you're getting more penetration of those into the skin, or if you're using it alongside another product that's particularly irritating, then yes, that would be a setup maybe for just 
increased irritation from hyaluronic acid. The other um, problem that can arise with hyaluronic acid is that if you just use a serum that doesn't have any occlusive ingredient in it, um, what it will end up doing actually is it'll, you know, it just kind of sits on the very, very top layer of your skin and it, it binds onto water, plumps everything up. But if you don't have an occlusive to kind of seal everything in, you actually end up getting more transepidermal water loss and dryness. This is especially problematic if you live somewhere that's dry like Colorado. Not as much of an issue here in Houston because we've got like a moisturizing serum around us at all times coupled with mosquitoes and, <laughs> and hurricanes. Anyways, yeah, I mean that is another, that's another possible issue that you can run into with hyaluronic acid. And I just suspect that some people are just more sensitive to it, in which case, you know, you can obviously uh, avoid it. It's not always in moisturizers. So just read ingredients. It'll either be hyaluronic acid or sodium hyaluronate. Uh, and usually they, a lot of times they call it out to you on the front because it's a desirable ingredient for most. So if you're bothered by it or find that it's irritating, uh, just kind of look for it. Alternatives to hyaluronic acid are glycerin, uh, you know, peptide service humectants, and uh, what else is a good humectant? Uh, polyhydroxy acids, um, polyglutamic acid, uh, even al you know alpha hydroxy acids are humectants. They gently exfoliate the skin, but they're they're also humectants. So yeah, I mean there are a variety of other options. Whether or not you'd be irritated by those, it you know it's hard to say. But some people are irritated by hyaluronic acid. They find that it you know, increases irritation. And that's likely why. It's most likely due to increased penetration of other ingredients along with the HA. But if you do enjoy HA, like myself, HA hyaluronic acid, this is a great affordable option. You only need a little bit to the, the face or you, know, you could use it on other body sites, I suppose. Well, hey guys, editing me here. It is a few days later. I realized that my outro clip, I inadvertently deleted it. So I'm filming another outro. Just wanted to say thank you for making it this far in the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.